You know, what I've learned is that people don't know how to read. They, they don't understand nutrition labels, right? At all. At all, right? They don't. And when they look at labels nowadays, people are only looking at the macronutrients, right? They're not looking at the ingredients of it, right? What's up, guys? Mary Alice, Jen, if you guys can hear us, thumbs up, all right? So we know, okay, throw some thumbs up so we know that you guys can hear, that the sound is coming in good, that we're clear, okay? And uh, Mac, this is for you. You're going to learn a lot from this. There we <laughs> go, right, cool, because we're, we're talking about reading nutrition labels, okay? So what we got is, uh, yeah, so, you know, I was talking to Hop the other day. We were talking about someone in boot camp, man. Uh, uh, Rob, this kid that just signed up, uh, doing the Groupon uh, deal, you know, he had this chicken something, frozen chicken, uh, microwavable chicken oh, to, for God. dinner, meatballs and chicken, oh. meatballs and chicken. And he's like, can I eat that? I was like, no. He's like, how you gonna say no? It's <laughs> microwavable chicken. He's like, the struggle is hard. I can't afford it. I was like, bro, go look at the nutrition label. If there are three things in there that you don't understand what it is, it's garbage. It's supposed to be chicken, right? He's like, yeah. And it's supposed to be a, a, a turkey meatball, right? Yeah. So turkey and chicken. Look and see if it's just turkey and chicken in that. And he read it. He's like, there was over 25 ingredients. He straight up threw it away. He's like, like chopped up finger. <laughs> you don't know what you're chopped eating. Chopped dog from China. So, <laughs> so Hop so. said, he's like, if it's if they make a commercial for something, that means he shouldn't be eating it. And it's a hundred percent true. When was the last time you saw a commercial for broccoli? Never. <laughs> when was the last time you saw a commercial for grilled I do chicken? See green giant once in a while. Green giant, yeah, you know, but th that's again with that. That's not even organic broccoli, right? Yeah, that's the package stuff that is like in in the in that's your, uh, cheap. That's cheap. The, that's what you got to realize. If something's cheap, there's probably a reason why yeah. it's cheap. Yeah, you know, but veggies. Right, some veggies you have to a lot of times you have to look at organic when you when you're doing that. Right, so if if you're getting like green giant bags of frozen peas or whatever, where's that coming from? You don't know where that's coming from. You know, so how said if it's in the commercials, you shouldn't be eating it. So which brings me up to talking about some stuff like like Jif, right, <laughs> and uh, and Skippies for peanut butter, right. So you see commercials of Jifs and Skippies all the time, but you rarely see like if you go to Wegmans Natural, you know peanut butter, organic peanut butter commercial, right? Because they're trying to sell you on chips and skippies. Because peanut butter is something that we eat a lot. We have it in our shakes, in our um, steam fresh bags, no good. Well, I don't know, is it organic? You know, oh, it, rule of thumb is always check if it's organic first. Honestly, I do not put anything in my body Here. that is not organic. Yeah, what do you I mean, think? Here's the deal, when anything frozen that needs to be steamed, don't get me wrong, there's nutrients in it, but the minute you have to microwave yes. it, it completely, alters the food inside. That yes. goes for vegetables, chicken, mm -hmm. anything reheated is tep it's terrible. Yeah. And again, it's it's just being lazy really. I mean, why do we all get steamed vegetables in a bag? It's we don't want to sit there and put the and shit on the it. stove and yeah. have to cook it. Exactly. But you know, if you have the time, you know, don't be lazy and put some good food in your go organic yeah. and cook it yourself. Yeah, make you it. Know? You know, um but yeah, with the with the peanut butter, it's so check this out. So Mac who, <laughs> it's funny, Mary Alice, she, a while back, she's like, oh, Jamal, can I have Mary Alice? What were you doing, Skippy's or Jif? And, you know, she, I was like, you can't eat that. She's like, what do you mean I can't eat that? The diet says peanut butter. I said, it says organic natural peanut butter, right? So I'm like, look at the nutrition label. You know, so she's looking at the nutrition label. She's looking at, oh, but the fats are good. And, you know, uh, some of them will have low, uh, low fat, right? Mm. <laughs> uh, Skippy's uh, peanut butter. And... So she's like, oh my God, the ingredients are bad. So then she went and got the, the natural Skippy's peanut butter, and it's still not that great, right? So I printed out, so check this out, John. Okay, guys, I don't know if you can read that, but check out the ingredients. This is, this is a, a Skippy's, uh, this is Skippy's peanut butter, right? Check out the, look at all that. It's supposed to be peanut. <laughs> it's supposed to be peanut, guys. Right? So we got corn, we got corn syrup, solid sugar, pea protein, we got fully hydrogenated vegetable oils, terrible. we have soybeans, anything hydrogenated is terrible, magnesium the oxide, the lacine, the macine, <laughs> frex of the, the zinc oxide, copper sulfate, copper. pyroxide, hydro, what the fuck? <laughs> Come on, man! You, listen, this is, okay, you ready? You want to see what an organic... Peanut butter is? Check out circle that. What does that say? That says organic dry roasted peanuts. 
<laughs> right? Okay. So, what would you rather put in your body? Organic dry roasted peanuts or Some peroxide, 50 oxide, peroxide, moxin, water, whatever. Capital. You can't even pronounce, yeah. guys. Oh, so, man. this is it. Terrible. Guess what? This costs $1.29. This costs $3.49. Okay? Yes, that's more expensive, right? You see the difference though? So this is what I'm talking about. When people are like, oh, I can afford that. You can afford to get sick and cancer down the road. This is cancer, guys. Yeah, yeah. This is killing you. Some of you guys wonder why you're not losing weight. Your body was not designed. We were not designed to process this shit, guys. Right? We were not. We were created, we were created with no McDonald's, no chemical, no lab. It was us, the land, the animals, <laughs> right? <laughs> That's it. We, so it's like when you're hungry, it's like you find fruits and berries from veggies from the ground, right? Or you go hunt and you kill and you eat. That's it. There was no, no hydrogen peroxide. You're eating <laughs> hydrogen peroxide. Copper, You're not light. supposed to eat hydrogen peroxide. I don't, that, that just <laughs> does not make sense. And it's supposed to be peanut butter, guys. It's, so it's supposed to be peanut butter. butter. And that's the thing. If, if, they, if they are screwing us with peanut butter, what else are they screwing us with? Right? What else are they screwing us with? If peanut butter, they're supposed to be, you guys go out, you see Jiffy's and skip peanut butter, you're like, hey, it's peanut butter. If we're getting screwed on peanut butter and you never looked at the ingredients, and you know what, check this out. This is where people screw up, right? So if you look at the fat, right? This, the natural one, actually has more calories than the fake shit, right? The natural one has 210 calories, the fake one has 190. And this is where people go, oh, this one has lower fat, right? The natural one has 10 grams, 12 grams of fat, the good one has 18 grams of fat. So now, people who are misguided, right? Yeah. A lot of people who think they know how to read labels are gonna go, hey, but this one has lower fat and lower calories. I'm trying to cut calories and fat. It has lower fat and lower calories because there's no real, it's all chemicals. Yeah, there's no nutrients. This is, there's no nutrients, right? So the, what you're getting in here, it's not even what you're supposed to get, right? This is real calories of the real stuff you get it, right? So like I said, if peanut butter ain't good, God damn, what else? <laughs> what else are you eating? And you gotta that? realize this has eight grams of monosaturated fat. Monosaturated fat is good fat. It's good fat. You know, you this know? only has six, six grams. Six grams, right? Back in the days, this used to have trans fat, right? The government got rid, they got rid of that real, like, there was a big thing against that, that they had to take it out of everything. This is also gluten free. Yeah, gluten free. So, inflammation, you won't inflame, you won't bloat when yep. you're eating this peanut butter. That peanut that, butter, this your peanut butter will start kill to hurt. you, your guys. Your stomach will blow. You know what I'm saying? You'll retain water. So, a lot of us, uh, you know, peanut butter is part of our daily, you know, program. We love peanut butter. We do, we put it in our shakes and stuff. So, you know, that, it starts with peanut butter and imagine this everything. This has more else. servings. Yeah. Three more servings. <laughs> Three more servings. So now, check this out. When you read labels, what are you looking for, right? A lot of times we look at the nutrition fact. We look at, oh, how much carbs, how much protein, how much fats, how much calories. That's great. But that's, you got to look at all that stuff. What is that derived from? What are the ingredients that are making up those fats, those protein, those carbs, yeah. right? So, like you can see, the good one has more calories and more fats, right? You can look at it, yeah. but... The bad one, hydrogenated, hydrogenated oil. Yeah, You're getting fast from hydrogenated that oil. That is pound for pound the worst type. That is of the fat worst your body type of fat. Have. Your body cannot even break that down. That's right? chemically altered Chem fat. It's not chemically <laughs> machine quality, chemically altered. It's disgusting. It's form of horrible, fat. terrible. I was talking to ja uh, um, um, Jackie in Brick this morning, and um, Jackie Moody, and she's like, Jaman. I, I can't get rid of this. I feel pregnant. And it's like, I'm like, Jack, you're not pregnant. You look amazing. She looks amazing. She's like, but I'm she trying does, to get rid does, of it. So I started talking about her nutrition. And peanut butter came up like twice a day. She eats peanut butter. Guess what peanut butter she eats, guys? Jackie has been with us for what, four years. She I don't know why this. people eat that stuff so she bad. She eats this. So and I'm like, Jackie, don't you look so at the nutrition program that I sent that always says natural, organic. Or, haven't, haven't you been listening? She's like, what? What's wrong with it? Oh, so and then I'm like, this is so she took this. This is her picture. Jackie, I'm throwing you under the bus. I'm gonna take a picture of your peanut butter and send it to me. This is what she's eating. She's been eating this forever, 
right? Hydrogenated oils, your body cannot break that shit down. So with that, it goes right here, guys, right? Natural peanut butter, natural peanut oil, your body can't break that down. That's natural, yeah. right? So again, sometimes, yes, good quality stuff costs more, but you got to know is that the better quality it is, the better for your body, that your body can process it and use it. When it's chemicals, your body doesn't know what to do with it. It causes, like John says, inflammation, right? It causes massive, autoimmune massive, massive. disease, oh my right? God, yeah. It causes cancer, right? There's a lot of chemicals that causes cancer. And then you're talking about hormones. For example- Hormones is the biggest- Biggest. That's the biggest. Biggest. Thing. Cysts, uh, especially in women, you know, all kinds of cysts in all different areas, areas regions, yep. you know? Yep. And uh, yeah, it's terrible. Look at like bars, right? People love protein bars. Yep. Like you look, think, think. Right? This is one of the misconceptions. This is right good here. stuff. Check it out. Yeah. 20 grams of protein, no sugar, gluten free. You're like, high protein bar. bar. Yeah, I Woo! did it, right? Right? Wait for it. Wait for it. And then Wait you look at the ingredients, right? Okay, so reading the ingredients. So you know, the first thing in the, on the ingredient label is the most abundant, right? So the first thing on it, so when you read a label, the first thing that the number one thing is the most abundant, the last thing is the least abundant. This is how you know when people cut corners and making products, right? It might say, oh, you know, protein, right? Uh, uh, 20 grams of protein, right? And then you got to look at, sometimes you see the protein will be the last thing in there, right? So that means it has no protein and all chemicals. When the protein is the first thing, that means it has a lot of protein, so that's good, mm -hmm. right? So whatever's first, that's the most abundant. So if you look at this chemical here that is called, that's supposed to be peanut butter, but it's chemical, corn syrup. It's the worst oh, thing <laughs> that you can put in your body. Like, it's horrible. It's all horrible. The, oh, the, wait, finally, you see the pea protein. Yo, there's not even peanuts. Guys, there's no blood, there's no peanuts in this. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, there's no peanuts. Yo, you see peanuts? I don't see peanuts. I see molasses. I see molasses. <laughs> I see soybean. I see pea protein. Guys, there's no peanuts in, man, I'm oh, done. That's I'm, some shit. I'm done, man. That's false advertising. That's false advertising. That is not peanut butter, guys. Wow. There's no peanuts and Skippy's that. peanut butter. And that's some bullshit. That's, uh, They've been lying to people all this time, bro. Jif's going to be coming after us. It's, We're going to be getting like a... Yo, nice actually, we should make this public. There's no peanuts wow. in this, yo. I just, I just realized, because I don't have that at home. I don't see this. There's no peanuts. Wow. Yo, being deceived. Let me get back to this bar, all right? So check this out, right? First ingredient is protein blend. Protein blend. It's not even like, oh, you know, cro uh, a whey protein or isolate yeah. protein. It's protein blend of soy protein isolate. So soy, wow. guys. Soy causes infertility in men. It literally kill, it, it, it lowers testosterone levels in men. Okay, it man causes boobs. man boobs man boob. in men. If any man is eating soy, you, you, and you've been in it for a while, and you wonder why you can't get rid of it, it's because of the soy in your products. For women, it messes. Soy actually has been traced to cause uh, breast cancer in women, okay? It's caused a lot, it causes a lot of infertility in women, okay? Soy is not great for you. Soy is the cheapest form of protein. Yep. So you're going to get it and thing. stuff like you're this, You're going to get right? a lot of stuff. A lot of, a lot of, of stuff are going to have soy because, again, it's cheap. It's cheap. That's how they mark down That's, Yeah, exactly. So, hey. Let's throw soy in here. Let's label it here. You guys are looking at this. You buy it, but then you look on the ingredients, Gosh. and then you can you look at oh zero sugar. Oh, this must be good. No sugar because they advertise that. They have commercials for this shit a lot. What you don't see commercials for? It's like you look at the ID bar. I ran it. We were at Tara. We're out of ID bars. We need some more. But I print out the label, right? So you look at the ingredients. I can't even begin to pronounce. What we got? Okay, so we got sodium. We got you know soy. Soy is three times in here. Uh, Molitoli. Ta, um, yeah, I give up. <laughs> I can't even, all right? But you look at the ID bar, right? And you see here, first ingredient is peanut. Peanut, right? There's peanut on there. That's our timer. We're going to keep minutes. going. All right? <laughs> Second is honey. Then pea protein, hemp, and then chia seeds, right? So you get in all this cross things. You got coconut oil. You got cocoa butter. You guys know that these are not chemicals. These are real raspberry. Okay. These are real food. Chocolate extract, raspberry extract, Himalayan pink salt, okay? And we're looking at 18 grams of protein from real stuff, from hemp protein, from pea protein, from peanuts, right? Chia seeds. So this is stuff that you that you that is made from the land. There's no chemicals. This you has look, 10, 11 grams of sugar alcohol. 
Sugar alcohol, which what is fake. Is sugar alcohol? This has <laughs> six grams of sugar, right? Nine it's grams of sugar, sugar but it's natural sugar. Difference. It's that's, coconut, natural sugar. So that's the thing you gotta you look at. It's, when you see sugar, you gotta understand, is it fake sugar or is it natural sugar? If anything says sugar added, run. Run, because if you get a peanut butter that says sugar added, it's not, you, know, you just shouldn't be adding sugar to anything, right? So those are just two things that we're showing you guys. When you buy something, you gotta know the quality. Here's the thing, I said this before. Look at your body, right? What 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 are you right? What kind? If you were you to be a car, you, yeah, you are what you, you eat, right? What you eat. If you were a car, what kind of car would you be? I'm a I'm a SRT8, like you just see. I'm a Jeep SRT8, right? I'm a. But here's the thing, right? Would I put? Would you put premium gas in you? If you were a car and you were high with your porch, you you know you're not gonna say I'm a beat down Honda Ho Hoopty ninety two Hoopty, right? You're gonna be a nice car. You're gonna be a Maserati. You're gonna be a, a Mercedes. You're gonna be a nice car. Would you want to put premium gas or regular low quality gas in you, right? So that's how your body is the most complex machine. We need to perform on an optimal level. Yeah. So we want to put the best in our body because if we don't, man, your engine is going to start pinging, right? Check <laughs> engine light, light. Gonna come off. You start getting sick. You start getting all these things going your on. Car so just compensate until it breaks. It's, down. it's it, 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 100%. You know, John, anything you want to add to this? Um, no, I mean, we really pretty much hit home with everything. I mean, again, it just all comes down to reading the labels and then, you know, going from there. Another thing I also want to talk about when it comes to reading nutrition labels is knowing when to eat the right serving size. So, for example, you might get an ID shake, which I think this is one full serving, but you might get something out there that's similar to this. And you're like, oh, wow, 120 calories. But then instead of having one serving, you do the whole pack, but really it's broken down into two servings, yep. and you're not yep. losing weight. Not, like, I don't yes. get it. That's and true. the whole time, it's you've been overeating. Because yep. again, that's one of the biggest you know, issues that we have as Americans is People we don't overeat. overeat. We eat more than the serving size. So that's yep. the only thing I have to add. It's just yep. also reading Check the nutrition the label and reading the serving size. That's true, 100%. When it comes to the meals. 100%. That's so. like, so on the serving size, you're going to find it up there, right? So always check, okay, the, what they break down for you is that for one serving and what's That's equivalent to That's where it gets serving. misleading because they'll say two servings in here, yep. but they'll mark it they'll at mark, only 120 oh, calories, calories. But then you're like, oh, it's only 120 calories for the whole thing. Two servings. But then you're like, wait a second. If you take 120 times it by two, then you're like, 240 calories. You're like, no. <laughs> you know, and you're like, I can't lose weight. It's because yeah. you're eating the whole thing. Yeah. You're going, you know, over the serving side. So, you know, are there, there are many ingredients you want to, what's this ingredient called? Okay, carrot gin or something like that? That's in like uh, almond milk um, that causes cancer. That's been, yeah, you, gotta you watch. know, um, so if you guys have any questions about, you know, if you, if you, there's anything you have, yeah, right? Any foods that you if you have anything at yeah. home labels, post it in the thread here. Just like Jackie sent me this, okay? Post in your, in the thread foods that is questionable, right? with the labels and stuff, so that way we can give you proper feedback. Okay, that's good, that's not good, um, and make sure you're getting the right thing. But in the end, guys, quality is important, right? Because, so you gotta pay, you either pay now, yeah, you pay later. or you pay down the line. And down the line, it's not gonna be cheap, it's your health, it's your life, right? Your body, <laughs> it's, the, it's the one place you have to live in, it's supposed to last forever, right? So you gotta take care of it now, so you have that longevity. And some of you guys don't understand how important the stuff we put in our body is, right? You come in here, you work out all the time. You think it's about the workouts. And I tell you it's over and over, nutrition, nutrition, it's, the, it's nutrition. what you put in your yeah. body. It's going to help you lose weight. It's going to help you be healthy. It's going to keep from being sick. You know what I'm saying? I always say I don't get sick. Even if I got a little sniffles, I'm not sick, right? So Because I don't believe it. I don't claim it. And second, I know I take care of my body and I put good stuff into my body. Right? So make sure you're doing that. Make sure you're getting the right foods. Make sure you're reading the labels and knowing what you put into your body because that's very important. And you'll feel a difference. Oh, you, you definitely like, feel wow, a difference. I'm not bloated. I'm, I'm not more bloated. Energy. I'm, like, yep. my I'm, energy. Not, I'm not crashing. My joints aren't hurting as much. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. you know, um, but yeah, so that's important, right? So I hope, you know, um, we answered, you know, the questions that, you know, um, some of you guys might have. Like I said, post up whatever nutrition, uh, whatever stuff you have at home, so that way we can see it and we can give you proper feedback on it. And uh, anything else you wanna add? If you have GIF, throw that shit out right now. We wanna take a, take a picture it of it at, in the garbage, all right? 